Well, studies have shown the link between financial knowledge and wealth inequality. The greater your financial skills, the wealthier you'll be. Unfortunately, financial literacy is still too low, and this lack of knowledge often proves costly. Joining us now in studio to discuss the importance of financial literacy is Karen Reddy, Reni rather, who's a partner for New Business Initiatives at Citadel. Good to have you with us today, Karen, and thanks for making time. Thank you. So often we talk about this theme regarding uh, financial literacy, but talk to us about how uh, South Africa does compare when it comes to its global uh, peers. Well, what I can say is actually that um, research has revealed that um, there's a significant gap between men and women when it comes to financial literacy, and quite sadly, that women have fewer financial skills than men. Um, and at Citadel, we've worked largely in the financial space with women, uh, having worked with successful women in business. And interesting interestingly for us, what we've also learned is that um, women lack a lot of confidence in this space as well. Mm. It's a space we feel vulnerable, um, something we don't often want to talk about, um, and we feel quite intimidated. Mm -hmm. Why does it matter to be empowering women um, as much as men within this space? I think what we have also learned, um, and I'm sure you'll probably connect with this as well, that as women, we haven't really been socialized around money. I mean, think about yourself. Mm -hmm. growing, growing up in your household um, was probably your father who took control of finances, possibly. That is shifting now. We have seen that. And also when you marry off and uh, you know, your partner then handles the finances. So um, we have found that, um, again, that's made women, uh, you know, it's something we're not, comfort we're not used to. It's not a conversation that we're used to. Um, also, what we've realized in working with women that often women don't make it a priority and why because work and family come first mm, so true about how we read you guys but I'm hoping we'll change those stereotypes because <laughs> looking at us on the desk we're all female <laughs> and are very Completely. knowledgeable when it comes to money <laughs> and that's the whole point because this just certainly does take a generational change as well as ensuring mm -hmm. that um, we pass on the relative knowledge to our daughters nieces and nephews and granddaughters in the long-term future but how do we get this right uh, especially in the South African environment well, just on that, an interesting stat that I read the other day is that 80% of men die married, while 80% of women die single. So 8 out of 10 of us will at some point in our lives have to look after our own finances, either through death or divorce. Mm. And as you know, women outlive men, so we have generations to look after. So as women, we do have an added responsibility to make sure that we take care of our own money and to make sure that we pass this knowledge on to our kids and empower them um, for generations to come as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've run out of time, but I must ask you about that crucial link between financial lit literacy and creating wealth. Some would say it's just a game of luck to create wealth, you know? Um, study after study has shown that um, you know the greater your level of financial literacy, the um, the greater your your level of wisdom, and I think you know knowledge is power. Um, and I think what's really important is to take that first step to partner yourself with a financial advisor that you trust. For us at Citadel, that's really important for us. It's to bring meaning to money and to make sure that you reach your financial goals. And we're breaking those stereotypes, right, Karen? Absolutely. <laughs> Starting with <laughs> Rofiwa and I. <laughs> Come see me. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time today. Always great hearing your insight. That was uh, Karen Rennie, who's a partner at New Business Initiatives at Citadel.